Hello everyone. In this video, I will be discussing about how to read a file content using Java programming um, predefined library class. Uh, there is a class called file reader and file uh, input stream. So we'll see how we can read a file content and how to display the file content and what more we can do with file reading in Java programming language. So there are two types of uh, two ways you can read data from a file in Java programming language. One is you can use a character oriented reading. Another one is you can use a byte oriented reading. So first if you first we have to select whether you want to deal with the character data, whether you want to read with the byte data. So based on that we can select the technique. So if you want to read character by character, we have to use file reader. So file reader is a stream. It is based on uh, reader class. So there is a predefined reader class is there. So reader class is a character oriented read, a character oriented stream. It reads uh, one character at a time. It will, it will read one character at a time. So one character means in Java character is represented by two bytes. So the number of byte uh, that is reading from the file is two bytes at a time it will read. Right. So it has one method called read method. The, the role of this read method is read a single character at a time and returns its ASCII value. So the written value will not be a character format. Written value will be in an integer format. It's an ASCII value. Right. So this is about uh, how to read a character oriented uh, using uh, reading a file content using a character oriented stream. If you want to read byte oriented stream, you have to use file input stream class. File input stream. So input stream is like a uh, like a byte oriented stream. Okay. So you can read byte by byte. So byte means one byte, single byte. Okay. But uh, if you see that is a difference between these two stream. Okay. So by file reader is a single byte. A file reader is a two bytes. File input stream is the file input stream is a one byte reading. Okay. Here also we have a read method which will read a single byte at and return its ASCII value. So now I will show you one demonstration, program demonstration using Eclipse IDE. How to read a file content and how to display the file content. So let's create a program here in Eclipse IDE. I will create one demo program class. Include the main function. Right. So this is a program. Uh, from uh, using this program, I want to read a file. So now where is the file? First, we need to create a file uh, to read, right? So I have selected one directory called D drive. In this directory, I have a folder called test. Okay, I have a folder called test directory. So inside, first I will create one file. Okay, I'll create one file. So I'll open a notepad and I'll write some content here and I'll save the file in this directory. So in this file directory, I'm going to save it, okay? So here I'm going to write some content, welcome to file handling or welcome to Java. The next line I'll write, welcome to file reading process, okay? So this is a content available inside the file. So this file I'll save inside this D, uh, D drive test folder, okay? So I have a test folder. Right, so inside this test folder, I'll store the file name. File name is sample.txt. Okay, so just write the sample. So now the file is created. Look at this in the right side. In the left side, you can see file is created. This is a file and the, this is a content. Now I want to read the content of this file and I want to display it. Okay, so for that, uh, let's see how we can do that. Okay, so first thing is, first uh, process is we have to import the package. So whatever I have explained this class, right? File reader and file input stream. First, I'm going to demonstrate how to read a file content using file reader. Then I will uh, I'll tell you about file input stream. So this, all these both classes available in java.io package. You have to use java.io package. So first you need to import java.io.star. So it will include the both classes. When you use a star, it will include both class from, uh, from the from that particular uh, package okay and now uh, we can start writing the code so when you write start writing the code uh, the recommend way of writing file handling logic is using a try catch block so you have to use a try catch block and inside try catch block you can write handle the exceptions all exception whatever exception comes it will handle this catch block it will print, print the error right 
So uh, first you have to make this try catch block setup. Right. So inside now first I am going to demonstrate file reader. Right. So file reader how I am going to demonstrate. Right. Okay. Right. So like this first we have to use file reader object fr equal to new file reader. Inside this file reader you have to keep the location of the file. The location of the file is d colon test drive. Uh, just now we created a file name called sample.txt file. Okay, so this is the location of the file. So the location of the file we have to give. So after this, we can start reading the content of the file. So there is a function called read, right? So read function will read the single character and it returns the ASCII value, right? So what you have to do is you have to call the uh, uh, file read function, but the return type will be in the ASCII value format. So you have to uh, store in integer variable. Okay, so for example the ascii code you will get like this okay for example one integer number only you will get right so when you read fr dot read you will get a number okay uh, for example uh, just to understand we can display the number okay so now let's see uh, the content file content contain the file contains welcome to java right so first it will read first character welcome uh, first character is w it will read first character and it returns the ascii value right so now when i run the program you can see the ascii code of this w look at this the ascii value of w is 119 okay that is the ascii value right so if you want to convert this as a character format you have to do typecasting so how to do typecasting bracket char value char data type and attach the end value right so now the, it will take the end value and it will convert as a character format and here you can see the w character right so here what you have to understand is the read function returns a ascii value byte value and you have to convert as a character for representing as a character format okay so uh, one more thing is the read function will read only single character at a time okay so if you read one time first time it will read w if you repeat the same process again it will read if you repeat one more time it will read the next character for example first time it is reading w second time it will read e Se third time it will read l so every time when you call read function it will read uh, it will return the character it will return the next available character okay so this process will be continued till the end of the line right so end of the file so end of the file is here right the end of the file is here right so after reading the last yes for example look at this after reading this this yes there is no more characters available in the file so it is called end of file eof so if there is no more character this function this read function will return minus one okay it will return minus one when end of file occurs okay returns it will return minus one when eof occur okay eof means end of file occur, okay when eof end of file okay so using this value we can write a for loop or while loop and you can repeat the read process right so in order to read everything so now the my task is i want to read entire content i want to display so if i want to read entire content i have to read character by character and uh, till end of file okay so till minus one comes right so we can write a looping statement by using looping statement we can read all the characters okay so we can repeat the read process and we can convert as a character format okay and we can control the loop by using this minus one value okay so what we can do is we can remove this now look at this first i am reading the first character then i am checking that particular character is minus one or not if the n is minus one there is no more characters available right so we have to check n is equal to n is not equal to minus one or not if it is not equal to minus one only i have to proceed further okay right if it is minus one it is end of file right so we have to proceed further uh, so inside what i am going to do is i am converting as a character format okay that that n value so n value is ascii for ascii value of that particular character right so convert as a character format then we can display the character ch with uh, without ln function okay without ln function after displaying the character we have to call the read function again to read the next character right so first i am reading w then i have to call i have to call the read function to re read e similarly i have to repeat this process okay so n value we have to update with another further one more calling okay 
right so in this first line number 7 in line number 7 we are reading the first character checking whether it is minus 1 or not if it is not minus 1 we are converting as a character and printing it next we are reading a next character so next we are creating reading a next character so n value will be changed right so next time it will read e value and it will return the ascii value of e so that e value will be compared with this condition whether it is minus 1 or not if it is not minus 1 again this process will be continued okay so this while loop will repeat till the end of file okay when end of file comes when this n value becomes minus 1 when it will become minus 1 because of this read function the read function will return minus 1 when it reaches end of file okay so now we are reading all the characters and we are printing it if i execute again you can see the output look like this see look at this whatever we have wrote in that file uh, welcome to java welcome to file reading process it is displayed here okay got it right so this is about actually uh, how to read a file content using a file reader okay so in this case we can do some uh, logic also right some uh, some logical for example you want to count uh, number of vowels okay so, some applications we can do right so for example you want to count number of vowels inside this uh, file content okay so what you can do is it's very simple first you have to create one uh, we can create one uh, vowel count variable vowels equal to zero initially it vowels is equal to zero now we can check whether it is a vowel or not that particular character and if it is vowel we can uh, increment this vowels count so in create one vowels con count variable now uh, instead of this printing this character what i am going to do is i'll put one if condition okay i'll put one if condition if the character is equal to uh, any vowel or not so vowel how will you compare using single quote a then uh, it may be any vowels right so you can write uh, many conditions like this okay okay so i'll take small letter only a e i o i o u okay so just i have taken small letter if you want capital letter we can keep on write capital letter comparison also okay so just for example i'll take uh, uh, vowel small letter vowels okay so only for small it will this program will work for uh, count small letter vowels small letter vowels okay right so uh, if it is matching with any vowels we can increment the vowels count okay uh, right vowels count right so this while loop is repeating and finally once this while loop is completed we can say that okay we can display the total number of uh, vowels total vowels okay and if you want to display the character also you can display okay so in the previous way i have written right so how to okay so you can display the vowels count like this right so this program how we are doing is we are creating a counter variable vowels and we are checking every character is it a vowel or not if it i'm comparing to a e uh, i o u right all chances right if it is matching with any one character uh, in the vowel set i'm incrementing it okay so then i'm reading the next character okay so finally we'll be getting a total number of vowels right so i'll execute look at this total number of vowels found is 17 vowels are available in the file content okay right so this is about how we can apply this uh, this particular file reading concept to do different kind of uh, applications okay like total number of vowels similarly you can do total number of words total number of spaces you can do so many things using this concept so this is about how to read a, a file content using file reader right so next uh, file reader is basically uh, read character data right so it will read character data right so next we have a file input stream also okay file input stream is like it will read byte data from a file okay so that is only the difference okay it will read one byte at a time but the previous case file read is reading two byte at a time okay so in file input stream also same function only read function same operation only it will read single byte and return its ascii code okay so the file input stream using a file input stream is same as same program exactly same program so what i'm going to do is i'll create one more pro program here So that is a demo 
demo two. Okay, demo two. In this program, I'll explain how to use the file input stream. Okay, so same exact program only we are going to do it. I'm going to copy this. We need this Java IO package. Okay, right? Same exact concept. Okay, so if you want to use the file input stream, just use same exact concept. Only the difference is you have to use this file input reader. You have to change it to file input stream. Okay, file input stream. Here also instead of reader, you have to change input stream. That is only the difference how to read a file using input stream. Okay, replace the file reader with the file input stream. That is only the concept. Okay, so now if I execute this program, we will be getting the same output only. We because actually read function is common for both file reader and writer. Look at this total vowels we are able to find in this file input stream also using file input stream. Okay. So the difference is here only the class name. Okay. Uh, and uh, reading habit. He reading process is byte by byte here. In file reader in the previous program this is file reader right. So file reader is character character oriented. It will read character by character. And this program will read byte by byte. Okay. So except that there is no more differences. Okay, file input stream and file read reader. Uh, just you have to re change the class name only. Okay, the functionality is same. How to read because both are having same function only, and uh, application also same kind of application you can do it. Okay, so that's all about how to use a how to read a file content using file reader class as well as file input stream class.